Hey guys, what's up? I'm Christian Taylor, and today I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit about different types of storage. First, let's start with some pros and cons of each type of storage. Kicking it off with cloud storage, we have you can share the files with anyone, you always have access to files anywhere, whenever you need it, there's apps for these on any device, and you can access it from any browser. Also, convenience, which kind of points back to the last point. Now some cons, cloud storage is expensive, and you have to wait for your files to be uploaded and downloaded, and for users that have a cap for data on their internet, additional internet charges may apply. All right, so now let's take a look at local storage and what it has to offer. So for pros, local storage is cheap especially for storing large amounts of data. It's also much faster than uploading and downloading files, especially if you have a USB 3.0 compatible hard drive. Now for some cons, it's less convenient. You can't access your files from every device, and you can't just easily share it with a friend. And, well, that's basically it. Alright, so hopefully that gives you more of an idea of when you should use what type of storage for what. So what would I recommend doing? Personally, I only use cloud storage for when I need to share files with friends, or clients, or other people. So let's say I'm working on a YouTube collaboration, and I gotta send my footage to another YouTuber friend, well then I would use Google Drive, upload my files to it, and send it off. Also, for photo storage, cloud storage is not a bad option. I use Google Photos since it's free, mind you, it does compress your photos just a little bit, but other than that, it's totally free for unlimited storage. So I throw all my pictures on my smartphone that I take into Google Photos. I don't do it with my DSLR because I want that full, crispy quality. Um, but for my phone, I don't mind. I just take pictures on my phone to, I guess, document my life whenever I come across something neat that I think is photo worthy. And there are some other useful types of cloud storage as well that I'll cover next week, such as having an off-site backup of your computer. But other than that, other than sharing files with friends and the other exceptions that I just mentioned, if you're not doing that, I would really advise you to just throw it on a hard drive. I mean, there's really no reason to spend $120 a year or more on cloud storage when you can buy a 2 terabyte hard drive for around 80 to 90 bucks on Amazon. Well, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. That's going to do it for this video. If you liked it, please be sure to smack that like button. And next week, I will be doing a video on a service that I now use to back up my computer to the cloud for an off-site backup that I thought was really cool. And as I always say, please be sure to subscribe, rate, and comment. I'll catch you guys next time.